Hello and welcome everybody to Building a HO Layout, episode three. Let's get started. So this episode is pretty much just gonna be all about scenery. The first way I'm gonna prep is by putting some tape over the track. So the product I'm gonna be using is gonna be Sculptamold, and it's actually a really good way to make hills or make mountains, and it's also good at smoothing out certain surfaces. So I've already kind of cut holes into the foam to make a little bit of a lake kind of per se, just to add depth and a little bit of variety to the landscape. And I'm using the sculpt mold to just smooth it out to make it more of a realistic texture, I guess. And for this side, I'm gonna be making a hill. Now I already have some cork down and a little bit of foam, just so I have kind of an outline of where I'm gonna want the hill. Next up, I'm using some deep brown acrylic paint, and this is gonna serve as a nice base layer and color for the dirt. And here is a good example of what it's going to look like once the dirt is applied to the acrylic paint. Now as for the dirt, I'm actually using dirt that's coming from my own backyard. The dirt is just sifted to a finer grain so it's easier to use in the layout. So we just sprinkle it onto the wet paint so it sticks to it and has more of a permanent stay. And I'm gonna be using this brush just to spread it out a little bit more easily. We wanna make sure we get every little space that there's paint. And here it is, and this is pre-glue and pre-alcohol. To glue it down, we're gonna be using some scenic cement glue. And first we're gonna be using some isopropyl alcohol. So we're gonna spray the isopropyl alcohol pretty heavily on the dirt. And this is just so the glue sticks onto it a lot better. And here I am using a pipette just so we could accurately get glue and not overdo it with certain spots. And obviously you can tell the sculpt mode area is a lot more wet than the other side. It's a lot more dry here and wet there where the sculpt mode was. I experimented with a little bit of grass just to see what it would look like, and there's a little bit of an example. I started putting some foliage down with twigs and little things that I found in my own backyard to give it more of a realistic look. I'm gonna be using fine turf that's made by Woodland Scenics. And we're gonna sprinkle it around generously, uh, just in certain spots, not everywhere, because we wanna be a little bit more accurate with how we do things. It's then glued down with some scenic cement through a pipe bed. And here's kind of a look before it's done drying. It'll look a lot better when it's done. Later on, I went to my local hobby shop and found this cool model of a Dairy Queen grill and chill. This is pretty much the way it comes in the box. 
You do have to snip all the pieces off the plastic that was molded in. Now this is pre-weathering, but I am actually going to put some bushes here on the side just to make it a little bit more realistic. But weathering will be down the line, a lot farther down the line. So for the other side, I'm going to be using the same process. I'm going to be putting acrylic paint on the foam and we're going with a medium ballast. Now the goal is to make it as smooth as possible because there's possibly and probably for sure will be buildings there. And then here's a nice little overview of the spot that I've been working on. This is kind of the only spot I've been working on, but this is all pretty much using stuff that I find in my backyard besides the bushes and the grass. Well, I will be doing some periodic updates in the future, in the very near future of how my layout's going. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.